This is a film about two people who make movies, usually not about themselves. That's Caroline, screen right. And I'm Veronica, screen left. Hollywood, Hollywood. Oh, that could be our title. No, our film is called Interview. Oh. I should look like my ideal person. I should look like David Bowie and act like Lauren Bacall. I always wanted to be a man, but now I don't, because I'd have to lose too much. There could never be a man like me. I wish I had hair like a paintbrush. As I picked up the letter, I'd think that someone was thinking of me. I had a dream about Anna. I should remember to tell Veronica tonight. I like to be alone in the morning. I like to do things slowly, but it makes me late for work. I'm never late. I work at home. Life gets easier when people like your face, or your feet, or your films. I love my red fingernails. I love adulation. Oh, Caroline, I want to kiss you on the snout. People like my films, and that makes me like myself more than I used to. But I think people see my films and they don't see me. I don't think very many people see me. You're very hard to see, Caroline. I wish I had hair like Oscar Werner. Oscar who? I never know what people are talking about. You're in a cloud, like a foreign person. You are a cloud in skirts, and I am a cloud in pants. Well, you're like a circus animal, and when I introduce you to people, I want you to entertain them. But I'm a very serious, mature person. What, what circus am I from? I don't know. You're all alone. Oh. I'm this person who's all alone in the world, and that's what happens when people don't understand you. It's very pleasant to lie between cold sheets in a cold bed, or flat like a fish, with your mother on the edge reading comic books. It's very hard when you stay in your bed waiting for someone to read you a comic book because that person may be waiting for you to write the comic book. I like doing nothing. You don't have to be anywhere for anybody. You don't have to produce anything. You have no deadlines, no obligations. When you can just Go along doing whatever it is you're doing. That's doing nothing. I'm always working, even when I'm not working. Everything is associations. Everything is altered by what it's next to. Printed images are much more accessible than film. They're everywhere all the time. That's how to touch the most people. There's a real mystique to filmmaking. It's so boring. Film should be something you have at home in a box, like knitting. I understand so well how you make decisions because of what your hands are doing. I love what my hands are doing. 
I would never sacrifice my own life now for anybody. My work is like finger painting on glass. I draw a new shape in the paint with a wood stick and fill it in with my fingers. Then I wipe away the old image with a wet cloth. So when I'm finished, there's nothing left except the film. Drawing and redrawing the image makes it move. I can't draw. That's okay. Your films are made with things that you find. And you assemble them in wonderful ways. Oh. My work is so slow, but I don't have to redraw each image completely. I'm only careful with shapes that I know the eye will follow. I work in a dark, dark room without windows all day. It's calm, and it's cut off from the excitement of daily life. I love it. But my work would be more powerful if I didn't hide from life. I feel I'm losing my life. I feel trapped by my own personality. Trapped? I'm afraid of being ridiculous, and that makes me shy. It seems like forever under the camera. When you make movies, you are your own anesthesiologist. Caroline, I'm waiting for you. Where are you? I'm always waiting. I'm waiting for night. I'm thinking of everyone who didn't call me. Chekhov, Lermontov, Mayakovsky. When I get tired of everything, I read the newspaper. Every section, every word. You must read very fast. No, it takes me a very long time to read the paper. I love the paper. I love it, because nothing in it's real. I like reading about smart people, how they make money and commit crimes. I love seeing things I can't have. My day fell on a fork and killed itself. When that happens, the best thing to do is jump into bed, all flat like a fish with no comic books, and do nothing. I need a place to cry in. I didn't know you cried. I thought I was the only person who cried.
Rebecca is a bad dancer. A rhythm. And now on my plate, I have such a lovely pineapple. Pineapple, pineapple. Pineapple's mine. It was the only pineapple. And now there are no more pineapples. My dinner's all gone. I ate it. Well, where's your dinner? I ate it too. Good and good. Well, you're going to eat it. No, I'm not stopping. I'm a big eater. I will knit you a dinner. You want a knitted rice? <laughs> My films begin in the dark, like a mystery novel. The pieces fit together at different times for different people. A person who is only a foot falls in love with a person who's a part of a face. A difficult courtship, full of mystery. I never figure out mystery stories. Your films are like the night, and my films are like the day. I fell in love with Tom. I make my films very clear because I want them to be understood. I was with Anna. We were both pregnant. She was more pregnant than I was. What a funny dream. We were kissing each other. <laughs> Our stomachs were in the way. I was very warm and close to her. Veronica, you weren't listening. I'm not listening to you. Ooh, it's nice to be home alone and feel good about myself again. I sometimes forget who I am when everyone around me is so much brighter. When I sleep, my mind goes out to lunch. What does it eat? 